Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to be doing a voiceover for this video. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to be using my MAC Face and Body Foundation. And this is a very sheer coverage, natural, satin, dewy finish foundation. It's amazing for dry or dehydrated skin. And it is pretty long wearing. It's about an 8 hour wear. And the reason I'm using it is because, I don't know, as of lately, I feel like my skin has been okay. So I'm not really looking for anything that's going to be a lot of coverage or too cakey or too heavy feeling. So this foundation for me is absolutely perfect. Um, I'm taking it with my Real Techniques Blending Sponge. sponge. And I'm just going to be blending it all over my face. Like I said, this foundation is nowhere near full coverage. It's so sheer that you can still see the skin through. So here I am layering it on a little bit more. It doesn't matter how many layers that you put on of this foundation. It's never going to get cakey, which I feel like is the best part for me. But I am just going to be applying a little bit more just to make it um, just more even on the skin. And um, I am using my blend or my sponge wet well damp um here i am obviously just putting on some more on the other side i did forget to mention that in the very beginning of the video i did put some of my time check lotion by mac as my primer i just didn't record it by accident so i'm taking now my pro long wear concealer in the shade nc20 and i'm just going to be applying one pump of this on the back of my hand and i'm going to be taking it with my sponge and applying it underneath my eye area just for a little bit more coverage to um, try to hide some of my dark circles or like the discoloration that i have underneath there um I do like pairing up the face and body foundation with my Pro Long Wear Concealer. I feel like it never gets um, cakey or separates in my opinion. It's never happened to me. So I do like to pair these up together. Um, now I'm also going to be taking some of that Pro Long Wear Concealer and I'm going to be applying it on any areas that I feel like I need or want a little bit more coverage because I did say that the face and body foundation is super sheer. It's not really going to give you coverage really so if you do feel like you have any pimples any red marks any dark spots or anything that you really want to cover then i do recommend using a more full coverage concealer to hide those areas the um, Pro Long Wear Concealer is full coverage. It's a matte finish. It's transfer and water resistant and it's long wearing. It's about a 15 hour wear. Now I'm taking my Studio Fix powder in the shade NC20 and I'm just grabbing it on a um, kabuki brush and I'm applying it all over my face just to set the foundation and the concealer. As you see, I'm kind of doing um, patting motions. I'm not really swiping it down until I get to my neck area because I didn't really put any foundation on my neck area so I am just kind of blending it down. But to keep the full coverage or just to keep your foundation and concealer in place, you never really want to buff your powder on. You want to just pat it on to keep everything intact. The Studio Fix powder is full coverage. It's a matte finish. So it's really amazing if you have um, really oily skin. It's going to help um, control the oil as well as give you a smooth finish. It does contain silica, so that's going to help absorb any oils. Now I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques brush. I forgot which one this is, but I'm just going to be grabbing some more of that powder and applying it right underneath the eye area to set the concealer because my Kabuki brush was a little bit too thick to really get into those areas. Um, I was trying to blend away some of the powder or foundation off my lips because I hate having that look and it just wasn't working. Anyways, I'm taking my Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark and I'm going to be using it on my um, just big deluxe fan brush. This I believe is from RC Cosmetics and it came in a full set with a bunch of other brushes. This trick I learned from Orpha if you guys follow her on Instagram. She basically uses a really big deluxe fan brush like this to help um, apply her transition color or shade for her contour area. So I'm going to be doing the same exact thing. I absolutely love this technique. I feel like it helps kind of your contour shade from not looking so harsh because you're having that transition color that's going to help blend the contour line out. I am also using this shade just to kind of bronze up my skin um, and I feel like it's not too too dark or anything like that so I feel like it kind of just goes well with my super duper fair skin at the moment. So 
So now I'm taking my MAC um, Shade Stir, I think this is called. It's a sculpting um, powder, and I'm going to be using it on the same exact fan brush. And I'm just going to be applying this on the hollows of my cheeks, just to get more of that defined contour line. Now with this um, Clean Real Techniques stippling brush, I'm just going to be using it to kind of blend out the powder from my forehead because it kind of looks a little bit too dark in my opinion. And then afterwards, I'm going to be taking a little bit more of my Studio Fix powder with the same Kabuki brush that I used to apply it. And I'm going to be dusting this right on top of my forehead area just to soften up that bronzer um, and kind of diffuse it a little bit. I'm going to be doing the same thing underneath the, um, the contour part of my cheeks. Now I'm going to be taking MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter and I'm going to be using my Morphe um, little small tapered brush. I'll write down the number of the brush down on the bottom bar. I always forget what it is. But I'm just going to be packing some of that on and applying it to the high points of my cheeks. Clearly I like a lot of highlight regardless of the fact that I am oily. I don't know, I just feel like highlight just makes you look so put together and just gives your skin such a beautiful, glowy, healthy look to it. Um, afterwards, I'm going to be putting it on my cupid's bow, the center of my nose, and a little bit on the bridge of my nose. This is just going to give your nose a more lifted appearance and kind of tie everything all together. Now I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows. I'm just taking this spoolie brush to kind of brush my hairs all in the same direction and up. And I'm going to be grabbing my Gerard Cosmetics Brow Bar to go in medium to ebony, I believe. And I use the lighter shade of the two. But first I apply some of the wax that comes in the palette just to help set all my hairs in place. I really do feel like using this wax makes such a huge difference on the way that the powder goes onto my eyebrows. I feel like it really adheres. It just, I don't know, I'm just a obsessed with using this wax. I never used to use the wax before and I kind of regret it because I feel like it's just amazing. So anyways, I'm obviously like sped through this part because I feel like you guys have seen me do my eyebrows so many times. My technique hasn't changed. It's pretty much the same exact thing as it's been in my past few videos. Now I'm going to be taking some of my MAC concealer, my Studio Finish Concealer in NC20, and I'm just going to be carving or cleaning out the bottom part of my brows just to get more of a defined and sharp, clean look to the brows. After I've blended out the concealer with my fingers, I'm going to be taking some of MAC's clear brow gel just to set my brow hairs in place so that they don't move around during the day. I love the stuff. It's like super glue for your eyebrows or like hairspray for your eyebrows. It's amazing. And now I'm going to be moving on to mascara. I'm using my... Um, what is this? This is the MAC An Extreme Dimension Mascara in black. I love this one. It's really, really good to give your um, lashes volume and curl. I love the tip of the wand because it helps really get into the inner corner of the lashes. I'm just applying one coat to the top and bottom lashes. And I do coat the top of my top lashes just because sometimes powder or concealer fall on them. So doing this, I just feel like it gives them a little bit more of definition. And yeah. Now I'm going to be taking my MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer and applying it before my liquid lipstick. This is just going to help condition and moisturize my lips. The lip shade that I'm going to be using is by ColourPop and it's in the shade Trap. So for some reason, I think a few seconds after this clip, my camera died. So you didn't get to really see the final look. But I will be posting um, two pictures at the end of this video so you can see what the final look is was like. The first picture is going to be with flash and then the second picture is outside in the daytime. I was in my car getting ready to go grocery shopping. But anyways, this is it you guys. I hope you all enjoyed my video and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Thank you guys. Have a great one. Mwah.